Hello and welcome back to Journey on the Trail. Today I'm at North Bend State Park in West Virginia. Uh, just wanted to uh, get back out here. It's been a couple years since I've had a good chance to, to hike them. I'm going to start on the nature trail and then uh, pending time we'll check out some of the other trails. But I uh, hope you enjoy following along. Cool amphitheater down there. If you continue driving down that way, there's a parking area to park to get on the rail trail. A little shelter here. Stop and take a break if you need to. This is a day use area. Picnics and such. Some uh, picnic tables back here. Bathroom area. Oh man, that water sounds so peaceful. Makes you want to put up camp right now. Listen to that all night. Got the uh, trail to myself again so far. Three miles in, I saw one car. Their footprints were going the opposite direction, so I may run into them at some point. But so far, <laughs> another day of trail system to myself. Helps going on weekdays, that's for sure. Somebody was kind enough to throw this nice Bud Light can down here empty. So I'll be carrying that out so that they don't have to. They could have at least left me a full one. <laughs> I'm going to pop on now onto the 10 acre trail. Just came off the nature trail, which is just right over there. You can see the blaze on that tree there. 10 acre trail, blue blazes. I like this 10 acre trail so far. It's uh, just a bunch of zigzags. And I think it's a mile and a half out, mile and a half back, making a three mile trail. I'm hoping to find a way to cross the road and get back on the uh, nature trail. So far, I've never done this one, but it's, it's really nice. The uh, trail description says it was uh, built by mountain bikers. So I definitely see that. But uh, makes for a great hiking trail too. Yep, coming off the 10 acre trail now. According to the map that I'm looking at, should have a fairly short road walk to get back on the nature trail. Okay, so up there is the park entrance. 10 acre trail uh, entrance is right there. And 
the nature trail came out right by that stop sign up on the hill there. I didn't see it earlier, but um, you kind of walk down this way a little bit and here the nature trail picks back up again. So here we go. So I'm still on the nature trail and I'm also on the Hibbs Cemetery trail, which splits off right behind me back here. came off of the nature trail there and I've never done this uh, Southern Railroad trail so we're gonna check that out now so I'm actually gonna come down here real quick and pick out a nice bench by the river and eat my lunch so it is 1230 perfect spot for a lunch break Nice and warm sun and got the creek to listen to. Tortilla, some lemon and pepper tuna, string cheese, grapes, a signature broccoli, carrots, and celery. So make a good lunch. Might have a power bar too, depending on how hungry I am. But uh, it's been a good day so far. Six miles in, it's beautiful scenery for lunch. Ah, gotta love it. <laughs> Definitely beautiful out, especially with the sun coming out. Only sad thing is to see the, the snow melting, but very cool. Excited to check out some more of these trails. <laughs> Thought this was really cool. Something to remember if you ever buy the bumblebee tuna, it comes with a collapsible spork. Which I think is pretty cool. I mean, I you know, I remembered some plastic silverware, but if you forgot your uh, spork or spoon or something when you're out on trail, pretty awesome that this is included. So just something to keep in mind. A little hard to show on on this small map, but I started on the nature trail about right here where this swimmer is here. And I took the whole nature trail here. And then I came to here, 10 acre, Took all that, got back on the nature trail, came back up here. Now I'm gonna be on the Southern Railroad Trail that comes down here. It's pretty back in there. the end of the spur Southern Railroad Trail not bad damn it's over that way so I'm gonna take the uh, Barton's Lake Trail here mark of the blue blazes and uh, then see from there I might take the uh, fisherman's trail back uh, we'll see. The Barton's uh, Lake Trail is three miles, so I'm going to get on it. Came from over that way, over there where the snow is, was the railroad trail. So that'll be the way we return. rock croppings here.
There's the intersection of uh, Barton's Lake Trail, Fisherman's Trail. So I will come back up the Fisherman's Trail and continue on the Lake Trail, which there's the dam right down there. I've kayaked to it many times, but never had this view. Pretty awesome. Ton of debris against it. Wow. But you can even hear how mean it sounds up here. But it's an awesome lake to kayak on. I wonder what that went to. That was a lot of work. Oh my goodness. Huh. Very interesting. Nice view of the lake from here. Wow. Yeah, no complaints about that view. Nice. Trail continues that way. Yeah, so the orange is the fisherman's trail there. I'm gonna go ahead and continue on the lake trail. We'll be coming back this way though. So I get to enjoy this twice. Just came up on the intersection of where Barton Lake Trail and Fisherman's Trail. You gotta make sure you turn this way. Over that way is a private drive. So make sure you're turning. Yeah. trail it's over this way I believe down that way is the uh, boat marina the boat launch and place to rent kayaks and canoes we'll take this water's edge trail for a bit and then we'll be looping back around yellow blazes for a while. It's one thing that's really cool about this lake. One of the reasons I love kayaking in here is it's a man-made lake. So there's all kinds of trees still in the water and it's really neat. I mean, it's all over the place like that and it's really neat to uh, kayak through those trees kind of makes you feel like you're basically kayaking in a forest it's really it's different and uh, something i really enjoy doing and if you're into bird watching oh my gosh it's about the best way to do it okay so i just got to the intersection of uh barton's lake trail and water's edge water's edge keeps going that way barton's lake trail goes up this way so i am currently here on the map. I know it's hard to see, but here's the intersection of Water's Edge and Bird's Trail. Water's Edge just keeps going back this way a little bit. Um, so, what, you know, I took Water's Edge all the way up through here. So I'm actually going to hop back on the uh, lake trail, head back this way. Then in, I'm going to take the Fisherman's Trail back to the dam area. 
it'll come back up here and meet with the lake trail and then snake back around. Then I'll be back at the jug handle day use area. So just came way down there, right on the lake shore and uh, heading up. And I mean going up, straight up. Here we are at the intersection of the uh, lake trail, fisherman's trail. We're gonna stay by the lake. This ought to be interesting, I have a feeling, as you're already seeing. <laughs> Definitely going to be a little rugged. And the water's up. As you can see, it's been up this high before. Make for an interesting hike. But we get to be right next to the lake the whole time. And, uh, and you can see why they call it the Fisherman's Trail, though. Plenty of options to go fishing. sun feels good said the high was 40 today but man i'm starting to really warm up there's the dam up ahead there Pretty awesome. All right, getting ready to pop out of uh, the lake view trail. Not gonna lie, it's just a little eerie feeling to think about how much water is being held back by this dam. Castle Rock Trail has got me on a, looks like a fire road slash service road for a little bit here and then I will be getting on the overlook trail it's a cool looking rock formation up there water's looking awesome okay so here I am at the intersection of the uh, Barton Lake trail and the overlook trail the overlook trail is a loop so I'll be coming back this way from that way It's called the Overlook Trail. Got an awesome overlook of the dam there. Down there's the um, Fisherman's Trail I was just on. The straight up climb. I have some really fond memories of being here. Back in the uh, fall of 2019, my wife, daughter, and I camped here in North Bend and then we did the Overlook Trail hike. She was four at the time. Just something about this, uh, the three of us coming together meant a lot to me. We didn't even know to expect this view like that's back there that's really awesome and uh i don't know just i can remember her how small she was at four compared to she's now six but you know the fact that she could only 
I think she was only like up to here, like her head. I was actually having to lift her up so she could look over that. <laughs> so, awesome memories here. Glad it's still here. <laughs> and uh, feels a lot different being here without them, but um, look, it makes me look that much forward to finishing up the hike and getting home to see them. <laughs> Hope you all are enjoying this view. <laughs> Hang a right to continue the overlook trail. You're looking for somewhere out here that's a good trail for kids. Well, I recommend this Overlook Trail. I mean, yes, it's got some inclines and descents, and this is a good one because it got it's got the creek, it's got the some rock cropping overlooks, beautiful scenery. It's really nice. So I'm actually going to hop on the Union Ridge Trail now, which will, it's a little bit quicker way to get back to where I came from. A lot of different trails out here that have been good, and I haven't been able to get to all of them. I've hit a good amount of them today, but not all of them. Um, of course, just taking your kids to the rail trail and exploring the tunnels, it's pretty awesome. So, highly recommend North Bend good camping, kayaking, canoeing, trails, just a fun place to be. So the Union Trail is kind of like a, it's a shortcut if you don't want to go all the way around the entire Overlook Trail. If you did, you would come out right there. We'll be popping out over here. And this is where the trail split off earlier. So we went that way and up to get to the overlook. And the Overlook Trail comes back and circles here. Like I said, we use the Union Trail to cut that in about half. Since I'm getting a little bit later now, I just thought I'd take the quicker route. But definitely check out the Overlook Trail if you're ever out here or just do part of it. So there's the Castle Rock Trail there that I'm on. Going back around that way, heading to the railroad trail. It's uh, 4.30. I'm saving a little, I saved a little bit of time on that Union Trail. I'm actually going to take a look at this Castle Rock Spur Trail right here. Marked in the dark blue. So again, the Castle Rock Trail. Kind of, here let me show real quick. The Castle Rock Trail, it looped around. Continues on that way. There is a spur right here. It's listed as 0.3 miles supposed to have a cool rock formation that I could kind of see from down low. So I'm just going to take, take a quick look here. That is pretty cool. Big old rock. around it. That is cool. That 
That is awesome. Fortunate about the graffiti, but you'll get that. But just beautiful. off the uh, Castle Rock Trail and getting back on the Southern Railroad Trail. All right, just coming off the Southern Railroad Trail and uh, heading over to the my truck over there. Well, everybody, that concludes this journey. Uh, it ended up being about 17 miles. I combined uh, as many trails as I could today uh, before I ran out of sunlight, unfortunately. Uh, it's about a quarter after five now, so I'm just a little over what I was hoping to finish at. But uh, it was a beautiful day, had some sunshine, got to see some snow on the ground still, and the temperatures got up warm enough. I didn't even need a jacket anymore. Be sure to check out the uh, description in the video. I'll have a layout of all the trails I did today. Uh, that way, if you're curious, um, definitely there's ways to break this place up. Like the nature trail is usually just four miles. Um... The Overlook Trail is under two miles. There are a lot of awesome trails out here. You can, you know, make it as short as you want or as pretty much as big as you want as well. So it's a great place to come, uh, you know, do some hiking, kayaking, uh, camping. They've got all kinds of options out here. So uh, I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And thank you for joining Journey on the Trail. See ya.